What's up guys, Jake Sleeves from Blue Collar Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you what I went with and how to zero it. Stay tuned. Alright, so this is the new Mossberg SA410, and as you can see, it's not drill and tapped here. This, the turkey version comes drill and tapped with a rail, but what I like about this is when you pull the gun up, you can stay dead low and still see your dot. So you don't have to raise your head at all so you can really zero these things in and get them shooting good. Now what this is. Okay, so this right here is the Meadow Creek mount. As you can see, it's this platform and then the bottom. That's a two-piece system. The top goes on top of your vented rib and they do have spacers so you can match this rib. And then the bottom piece goes underneath through this channel and you screw it down in get it set so it's it's tight and then the red dot mounts right to it it's a pretty slick rig uh, I got a couple more coming I'll do an installation video once the other ones get in and I'm going to put one on my my Frankie and I'm going to put one on my Mossberg 20 gauge as well because I really like that low profile to me I think it's a little bit better than the the pick rail because with the 410s especially with the pick rail your head's higher so you don't know your true anchor point, essentially. One, another thing is, Hawk brought up, this is a good point, you wanna make sure you're centered in your vent. That way you're not sitting weird on these angles, whatever it could be on both sides. So you wanna center that up, which we'll go into that more in detail when we do the actual installation. This is just gonna be the overlook of it, why I like it, and then how we sight in a reflex sight to save you guys from shooting all your TSS up because you really shouldn't start with TSS, especially if you're just putting an optic on and shooting, you're gonna waste a lot of money. So what we're gonna do, we got the lead sled right here. We're about 10 feet. I, I don't really pace it off. I just shoot to where it's gonna be a shotgun hole. We got Sharpie marks on the left. We're gonna shoot the left target, the top left, shoot that. I'm going to have it strapped down in to the lead sled. Then I'll hold this dead true in the lead sled, keep it exactly where it was, and Hawk's going to move the dot and center it in the shot hole. And then we'll shoot the second one and keep doing it, get it zeroed. Then we're going to go back to 40 and shoot the Federal TSS and just fine tune it. Just do a couple little adjustments. Now this is with the stock choke, which this gauge pin 380 this morning. So this is a 380. Now I'm going to sight in with this because this is what we're going to shoot first. You, you do have to adjust your reflex for changing your chokes out. It could shoot different. So let's just get right to it. Let's get it on the lead sled. Let's take this long shot. This will be the first shot with the SA410. We got it kind of eyed up. So we'll see how close we are. But this is an ADE. This is a cheap red dot. And honestly, so far I like it. But... I haven't really shot it much, so I'm not going to review it just yet, but let's get to it. All right, here we go. All right, so first shot, like I said, we're aiming at that top dot right there. We don't really have to zoom in on it. It's just a Sharpie mark. So we'll see. We, Like I said, Hawk and I eyed it up. It's going to be off. We'll see how far. So first shot. Once again, this is just 410 target loads. These are just two and a half inch shells, so it might be different from the Federal TSS. Start with lead so you can save some money. And let's get to it. Okay. okay, so as you can see, can you zoom in on it? I'll see if I can even see any of it. Yeah, you can see it there. You should be able to. As you can see, it's high. It looks pretty good left and right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold this exactly how it was with it right on that dot. And Hawk's going to move the dot up to the center of that. So that way we can zero it out. It's this is a good way to do it, so let's get to it. Okay, hot. All right, so shot number two. Now we're just gonna move over. We didn't touch the windage. We just touched the elevation, and we brought it to where it looks to be centered to the core of the pattern. So now we'll shoot the second. Yeah, I'll zoom in on this one. All right, go ahead. So we gotta go, now we gotta go, now we can see the windage a little bit better too. It's a hair off to the right. Yeah, we gotta go right and uh, down. So we 
Let's try that. Okay, so now we got it eyed up. Now we'll shoot that third dot and uh, see how close we got it. Once we get it close, we're just going to go to 40 and sight in with this. We want this close here and then we'll fine tune to the TSS at 40. That's, but this way you can get it close before you start shooting TSS. Good? Ready to go ahead. Right there. We got it eyed up. Like I said, we're just using this to hone in before we go back to 40. So we'll shoot that dot. I think we're, I think we're good now. Go back to 40 because that's pretty damn close. And then we'll see how we how it shoots with TSS. Okay. So as you can see, we got it pretty damn close. Now we're going to go back to 40 and shoot that target. And uh, that way you can shoot lead. And this is a good way when you have another guy. It's a little bit harder to do by yourself, but you can do it. You just want to make sure you're holding that gun exactly how it shot all the way through and have your buddy adjust the dot to center it to the pattern. It's a real good way to save a lot of money sighting in. So now we'll go to 40, we'll shoot it, and we'll fine tune it a little bit and see how it shoots this, this TSS. So let's get back there. Okay, so now we have the Federal TSS in. We're at 40 yards. We have that dot just dead center of the cardboard. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a shot with it centered. We're going to go down, see where the, the core of the pattern is. If it's centered up, we'll leave it there. If not, we'll take a Sharpie and circle the core, and then we'll do the same thing. Hawk will move the dot as I keep the gun exactly how it's shot so we can get it as close as physically possible. Now, with a shotgun, your patterns can walk a little bit, Especially changing chokes, changing loads, it's going to be a little different. But to get a good core zero, this is a great way to do it. So let's let's shoot at 40, and we'll see how she shoots. Okay. All right, so that's pretty centered up, actually. We went down, we checked it out. It's with the stock choke and Federal TSS 9s, it's pretty centered. So we don't want to touch it yet. It'll definitely do the job. So as you can see, that was sighting this in. It took, what, four shots of lead? So as you can see, we sighted this reflex in a good base zero with only shooting one TSS load. So guys, sight in. This is one good way to do it. Get a lead sled. Get the gun secure. Have someone else with you. Shoot lead close. Use that core pattern and just have the other guy move the dot in the center of the core pattern so you want to get that dot centered with it and then just keep shooting until you're pretty pretty damn close you want to be as close as possible there at 10 feet and then go back to 40 shoot your tss load in the choke that you're going to hunt with and get it spot on that way you can save your tss so you can take it a field with a lot of ammo you know hard to find this is the best way to sight in your guns at least with reflex sights well actually this works with rifles too so I mean, you could really do it with anything. So once again, this is how we zero our reflex sights to save ammo and allow us to pattern better on the channel without using all our TSS to get our reflex sights dead nuts. So once again, it was like four or five shots of lead, one shot of TSS, and we're good. But guys, this is how we zero our reflex sights. Uh, drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys do, what kind of methods you roll with, and... Or if you use this method, which I, I figure most of you do, this is how we do it. So if you haven't yet, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys. We're out here. We got a ton of loads out here, ton of guns. Actually, there's nine here. Moose is getting sunburnt. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> if you're new to Blue Collar Outdoors, welcome. This is what we do. And if you're looking for no bullshit, honest reviews where we just let the performance talk, you found the channel. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or for Turkey Pattern Series, apparently it's every day. We put a lot of time in, a lot of effort, and we try to give you the best test we can. So, but this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and we got a ton of tests to film, so we'll catch you on the next one. Take her easy.